Hello everybody, this is Diane. I wanted to show you the things that I found at the flea market today. It's um, July 5th, so it was it's Monday, July 5th, so it was considered still part of the holiday weekend. And so there were lots of vendors there, lots of shoppers there. It was pretty crowded. I went early, um, just a little after 7 in the morning. So, and I did find some good things. So I'm going to show you the books and some linens and um, then some special unique items. So stay tuned for those. First item I'm going to show you is not for junk journaling. These are just a uh, sampling of the books that I found in a box full of, I can't remember if it was 24 or 27 books. And the lady gave them to me for $10 and they're not for me, they are for my mother. These are Christian fiction books, the nice thick books and she loves to read these. so. I thought I would give her a treat and take these books home for her. So I have a nice box of these books and I will be paying a visit to my mother this week to give her those books. The other books that I got, and I am being pickier about books because I have a lot of books. So some of these are going to go in my shop and some are for me to use. Um, this one I know will go in my shop. It's Victorian Celebration Parlor Cats and it's not an old book this full of beautiful images, Victorian images of cats that you can fussy cut or you can just put this beautiful book on your shelf and look at it. Um, it is 1991. It's in excellent condition. So when I get a chance to list it, I will be putting this in my shop. I've also got some bird books. I got three bird books from one vendor. This is the Audubon Land Bird Guide. And it's beautiful gray cover with this silver bird on it. And all of the illustrations are in the center of the book. So there's this whole section of a color plate, color plates with or color pages with a variety of birds. You can fussy cut them to make beautiful little embellishments and uh, additions to your tags and journal cards and pockets and all kinds of things if you love birds. And another bird book that I got is this oh I didn't give you the date on this It says 1949. I wonder if it really is that old. It's in good condition. The cover, I already threw the dust jacket away because it was in really bad shape and it was water damaged. The Backyard Bird Lover's Guide. This one doesn't look very old. It's got a lot of beautiful pictures in it. Hmm. 1998. And it's got small pictures of birds, very colorful. They are glossy pages, but you can cut these little pictures of birds out and again use them in collages and decorating tags. So this will probably go in my shop also. And then we have the John J. Audubon Birds of America. This is what the cover looks like. It's just a plain blue. And this one is 1995. And look at that on the on the dust jacket. That itself would make a beautiful bookmark. And I believe that these are reproductions of Audubon's work. This looks like his style. Yes, definitely. These are his paintings. Beautiful. Lots and lots of color pictures. So, three bird books. I also got this. It's not a book. This Mary Mary Quite Contrary book, isn't that a beautiful cover? 
And this is from 1920. Oh no, this one's 1907. Five, 1905. And it has some pretty color illustrations and a lot of black and white, really pretty black and white illustrations. I love that one. Just really beautiful. And another old one is this uh, Robinson Crusoe World Library book. I loved the cover. It's got this globe and just this beautiful design. It's very old. It's kind of tattered. The cover is coming off and the, the binding is very threadbare. The inscription says 1889. The pages aren't that great. Um, they're very Boxed, and the pictures are difficult to see. They're etchings, but they're dark, and there isn't a lot of contrast in them, so it's just really hard to see the picture. But the cover is gorgeous. Another gorgeous cover is this, Jackie Hightree, The Adventures of a Squirrel. Isn't that fabulous? And the only other color picture in here, this is 1916, is, it's the same picture as on the front, but it's in better shape. And the pages are thick and the pulpy kind of paper, so they might crack when I if I tried to fold them. So they're also they're not in you know they're not the best pages, but I got it for the cover. Farm ballads is a beautiful cover that I would like to make a farm journal with. It's got a dig in the spine right there where it's torn open. But otherwise, it's not bad for the for the age of it. Um, 1873. And it's got some etchings, and these are better etchings than in the other book. They show up better. So I think they're just, they're poems to do with farm life, maybe. And then this one, the cover is very, very rough. The spine is rough. I didn't get this one for the cover. It's called Myths and Enchantment Tales. And this one is, isn't that cute? I love that. Um, 1928, 1940. <clears throat> I thought it was 1920s, which is the original, but this edition is 1940. So it's um, myths. This is Apollo on a chariot drawn by swans. I love that picture. So there's pretty color illustrations and black and white drawings, which are beautiful. That's the books. I got this calendar, 1967. Rexall weather chart calendar, so it's really interesting. I like this picture on the very front page, the December 1966 page. And it must be like an almanac because it has the weather for the entire year. When the sun set, when the sun rises and sets, and when the moon rises, and it says windy, rain, clearing, fair, cool. So I'm not sure how they know that, but it must be an almanac because almanacs predict the weather for the year. And then it's got little lines to write your notes on for the day. And each page is a series of advertisements and coupons for Rexall Drugs from 1967. Pretty neat. Now the linens. I got this whole pile of linens for $5. I was starting to look through it because there was something in here that interested me. And I just before I you know, was going to pick it up and go through it and look for the ones that interested me, like these things, she said I could have the whole 
bundle for um, five dollars so I just took it so here we have this piece which is kind of a pale pale yellow and it's got embroidery on it and the crochet edging is beautiful and it's hand done and there's two of the designs it's a table runner or dresser scarf this piece is one of those pieces that has the white on white design but it's got some added very pale color added to it so it's really pretty uh, it's evening now Oh, before I go any further, I want to do a shout out because I saw some friends at the flea market today. They are viewers of mine, and last year, um, Becky heard me talking to one of the vendors and recognized my voice from my videos because she watches my videos. She and her daughter love to watch my videos, and so she introduced herself. And then this year I, got, I saw her again and met her daughter too. And I saw them again today. So uh, I told them that I would give them a shout out today So uh, when I did this video. So hello Heidi and hello Becky. And it was so nice to see you at the flea market again today. And I hope I see you again coming up soon. So um, it is nighttime now. So I hope that you can see this. I did this video once but I forgot. To do that shout out and I told them I would and I did not want to leave them out so I'm just doing another quick video showing you my haul so that I could say hello to them and then I almost forgot again I get so into what I'm doing that I just get distracted so this looks like it was um, ironed on the image was ironed on it was either ironed on in colors or somebody used marker to color over the image that was ironed on instead of embroidering it. So there's some deer and some flowers and they are it is just printed or marked on with marker. If they did it with marker they did a really great job. And the lace is around the border is really pretty. The, um, these sheer pieces were what caught my eye in this bundle. Look at how beautiful this is. I think this would just make a beautiful embellishment on a pocket or a fabric flip or something. And there's a lot of those ovals and they're flocked. It's just so pretty. I love the yellow and the blue. And this is another sheer piece with three layers of ruffles. And that might have been, yeah, it's got some flocking on it. I think some of the flocking has worn off, but it's still around the edges and a little bit on the flowers. I'm not sure what I'll do with that, but it, is, it was too pretty to not take. This is a pillowcase. I do like the blue plaid, but I love this wide eyelet. There's a fly buzzing around here bugging me. He was out in the living room with me, and now he has come in here, even though I left the light on in the living room, hoping he would stay out there. But no, he wants to get in this video. This is uh, some sort of a bureau, bureau linen or something. It's got some foxing or staining on it. And it's been starched. It's kind of stiff. But it's got this pretty embroidery, embroidery on it of a flower basket. Two of them, in fact. This one is a very plain piece. Uh, it's a small dresser scarf and it's got the blanket stitch around the edge kind of loosely done and this kind of uh, I think it's a couch couching stitch where they just lay the floss on it and then just catch it with some stitches and then these clusters of French knots This is a manufactured piece, not a hand-done one, but I like it. I had this in a uh, with a cream and uh, green instead of the tan color. It was green, and I've used a lot of that. I don't have a lot of that left, 
So I like it in the in the neutral tan color. This is a table runner with some pretty ladies in crinoline skirts and bonnets and they're tending the garden. Can you see them? The the embroidery is light colored so it's a little hard to see. There's crochet trim around it. It's in pretty good condition. There is a stain here and some staining there that almost looks like it's the color of the floss but something got something stained the threads. And then this is just a not very old linen placemat. Pretty color. Very nice and bright. I could put that on my um, kitchen table with my little ducks that my mother painted. <laughs> I have them on the table, but they don't have anything under them. I think that would look cute under them. This is not for junk journals. It was just this um, bundle of... I, I ripped it apart, but it's um, flower sacks, it says, for cooking, needlepoint, and polishing. I like to use these kinds of cloths to put over bread when it's raising. And, um, and then I can cut some up and use for cleaning. There's one, two, three of those nice towels. So they're not for junk journals. Now, the extra stuff, the fun stuff. I got some of those linens will go in my shop too, I'm sure. Um, I got these little books. This is a farmer's yearbook. Um, I will be doing farm journals. I have quite a lot of stuff for farm journals, but this has a lot of information, some charts in the front for for farmers to reference. It's like a little reference book for them. Handy rope information, dressing weights of slaughtered animals, water requirements of animals, some weights and measures, uh, some information about granaries, um, barrels and casks, rectangular tanks. So it's um, measurements and amounts and things like that. And then there are... Now, I don't know how old this book is because it's old because the phone number is 42231, but someone used it in 1999 and 2000 to keep track of money that somebody owed. And then there's a bunch of blank pages. So it does... Oh yes, it does have a year. 1955. And I will be putting probably a couple of these in my shop. They are Sadler's Railroad Time Book for Train Servicemen. 1946, 1948, and again 1946. I like the pink advertising pages in the front. It's got some charts and then the pages to record their time and their wages earned and things like that. So there's mostly the pages are written on and um, this book has blank, a lot of blank, but the other two books oh this one has some pages torn out. It just has a couple of the uh, the pink advertising pages torn out of the back. They're fun, fun journals, um, little books. This is 1948. And this one, same thing, 1946. Has a lot of writing in that, and it's pretty worn. I got some vintage ephemera, so I got these postcards. She had a lot of postcards, and I just picked out a few that I liked. I mean, I liked a lot of them, but I picked out some that... I don't know, for some reason I just wanted them. And this was in with them too. Birthday wishes. So it's like a postcard, but it's a book, a little booklet. 1927. Some of these postcards are dated 1909 or 1919. This one's 1909. 
so they're old. Oh, this one. I love this one. Little girls playing the piano and singing, and it's written on in small writing, front and back. And there was only one of these papers. I added it to the pile from this lady. Um, American Glassworks billhead. I love these kind of billheads with the beautiful um, fonts and then the pictures of the buildings, factories or whatever. And this was just a card that was in with her things. It was glued to something. It might have been in a frame at one point. But it is like a black and white lithograph or something that was tinted of Victorian ladies. Then some really fun stuff. Here's some more vintage ephemera. I got these two cigar boxes from one vendor and this box. These all came from one vendor. In this cigar box, there was some vintage ephemera. It's just a little birthday card, tiny little birthday card, vintage. Um, a receipt from a bank. Uh, I don't see the date on this. And this dues notice for the Elks, and it was 1950. Oh, it says 1950 to 1951. And I don't know what these are. I'm hoping somebody can tell me what these are. These are all just different colored cards with the symbol of the Elks organization. But it says, it's a card key, and it says insert here. Insert card key here. and But it's just chipboard. So it's not like a motel card that we use now. I don't know. If you know what it is, please tell me. But I love the, the card. They're kind of textured and they have them in all different colors. So I would love to know what they are. These little booklets are um, promotional little notebooks that you would carry in your pocket from a bank. And they have calendars on the back. This is 1982 with a winking George Washington on the front. Somebody cut out paper that they wrote on. This is 1978. And another, uh, again, a sheet is cut out. And this is 1977. So just plain notebook paper inside, but they're pretty cool. There's another one of those Elks cards. Then some interesting things in here. This is uh, some sort of a slide card to do with roof sheathing. So it just you move your card, move the card back and forth, and it tells you if your plywood thickness is is that, and then all this other information will apply. So it's just something fun that I could put in a junk journal. This is another. Thing like that. It's pocket lumber scale for Anderson window walls. So again, you determine what you need here, what you have here, and then this will tell you. It's like a slide rule, <laughs> kind of. I think there is a slide rule in here too. Oh, here it is. General industrial slide rule. It's got this plastic piece with a red line on it, and then it's got the two circles. It's in pretty good shape. And it tells you how to use it. This is dated 1959, but it's in really good condition. This is, I don't know. It's advertising Core 10 alloy steel. So I guess this is a slide rule also. I don't know. How to install telephone accessories. This is 1983, so that's not that old. Um, I got this in there. That's pretty neat. This plastic. It's got a compass in the middle and then numbers all around. See-through ruler company, it says. Pretty neat. There's a uh, triangle here. 
and a stencil that has lab bottles and things like that. I used to have one of these. I think I sold it in a set of stencils. And then a bunch of six inch rulers. Some are metal. They're advertising rulers, but there's a metal one, a plastic one, A and P grocery store, and paper ones. Pretty mint green metal one. Chipboard. These are that's life insurance. This is another life insurance. This is a nice thick chipboard and it has a calendar on the back for 1942. This one is 1948 calendar. Another little metal ruler and another chipboard one or paper one. So lots of little fun little things in that box. Love this. Can't wait to show you what's in there. I got these metal pieces. Some, these are all real old things. They're not reproductions. These are little gear pieces. And these very thin metal pieces that I thought would look really pretty on a journal cover or a spine or something. And this one is more tarnished than that one. I'm going to try to clean it, but if I if it still is tarnished, I don't care because it's a nice vintage piece. Then another cigar box that I picked up was full of these stamps that were used in an office. And I stamped, they, they, they do have, some of them have a word on the front. I'm hoping, the reason I told you it was nighttime was because I'm hoping that the, the lighting is okay in here. I stamped everything on this paper, as you can see. Three of them are address stamps, and apparently they were a husband and wife, Howard Davis and Shirley Davis, Republican committee woman, Davis Avenue, Vestal, New York. And near Vestal is a, a college that, that used to be called Practical Bible College, and now it's still a Bible college, but the name is, is Davis College now, so I'm wondering if these people are important up there. My daughter went to, um, when it was still practical, she went there for a semester or two. And uh, my nephew and his wife both went there. Um, so anyway, that's them. But then the rest of them are these office words, which are cool. Entered and completed weekly and transferred and then there's one of these roller stamps but it is not in good shape you can see how that letter or number dropped down it's because it's coming off it's so old that it's broken so I don't know if I'll be able to use this I'll have to be very careful because that rubber is dried out and it broke in at least one place. But the date on it, when I stamped it, where it was set was December. I don't know why it says December 9 2, but it's 1940 is the year. So that must have been the last time it was used. So, anyway, it's a lot of really cool stamps. And look at this. This is one of the address stamps. I didn't know what it was, but I got it open. Hopefully I can get it open again. I think I closed it too too nicely because I can't get it open. Oh well, I have to work on that, but it opened easily when I first opened it. And I think this part has this the stamp pad felt that had ink on it and it was kind of it's dried up now. Can't get it open. But anyway, it's, I think it was the stamp. So I will have fun using those stamps. And then lastly, from the same vendor, I got these slip-on label holders. They are metal labels, label holders. So you would have to put a piece of paper inside there. It's got the plastic on the front. And I slipped one on the binding of this, of this binder. It just slipped on very easily. It's got these little hooks on the back that slip slip right on. So they're cool. I might be able to put them on the spines of journals or somehow cut these pieces off and glue them down. 
and I don't know how many are in the box. There were two boxes. I could have gotten another one. But I just got this one. So that's what I got at the flea market today. And I hope you enjoyed seeing this. And I would love to know what one, what item or items were your favorites. And um, you can be watching in my shop for items to appear. I'm not sure when I'm going to get them listed. I have some from the last visit too, the last flea market visit that I will be putting in my shop. So you can be um, keep an eye on my shop for when things go in there. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a creative day today. Bye-bye.